Turkey Al Sheik states that Terence Crawford only wants to fight Canelo. He was offered the Virgil Ortiz fight, but said he only wants to fight Canelo. Check out what Turkey Al Sheik had to say. Wrote a clip. I'm going to ask you about a fight that I really like. Terence Crawford versus Boots Ellis. Do you like it? Great fight, but not not the top fight we want to to see it. Okay. Okay. What would you what would your top next fight be for Crawford away from Canelo? I don't think Crawford will fight anyone except Canelo. Okay, this is my wow. opinion. Yeah. This is my opinion. Yes. And this is what I feel. Uh, but uh, it is uh, it is about him. Uh, we give him an uh, uh, offer for Ortiz. Uh, and I, I don't know if he will take it or not. But uh, we, uh, we have an agreement to do big fight for Ortiz if Crawford doesn't uh, take the fight. Okay. So we could see Crawford against Virgil Ortiz next if he takes the fight. But I th- I I don't think he will take it. I th- okay. I think he only want Canelo. Yeah. You you understand that? Or, or, or I, I, I I I understand that. Uh, I respect all the fighters. See, yeah. sometimes. The, the people doesn't understand my character. I am in the camp of the fighters, all the fighters. Mm. If they respect their contract and doing great fight and uh, handle us right and we handle them right, I am in the camp of the fighters, all the, ca- yeah. all the fighters. I am behind the fighters. It's showtime! As you just heard, Turkey al said that Terrence Crawford don't want to fight Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz just came off a win that everybody thought he lost. Yeah, he lost that fight, my honest opinion, but it was a great fight. One, two. One, two, one, two. So... Terrence Crawford fought Israel Majumov August 3rd and everybody said that Terrence Crawford didn't sell Terrence Crawford in his in his words was saying that this fight that fight was the biggest fight that fight was bigger than the Earl Spence fight which it didn't do good on papers the numbers then Virgil Ortiz fought a week later and had a better fight and the fight with Terrence Crawford and Virgil Ortiz with all of the you know money put behind the show and having Eminem performing everybody like basically was basically fell asleep like I just felt like it was too much of a uh, theatrical drama musical thing to the to the fight party and everybody was just ready to have Eminem just get off the stage and just Terrence Crawford and Israel Majumov get to the fight. Um, Virgil Ortiz put up a spectacular performance and they said that fight did better than the Terrence Crawford fight. So Canelo Alvarez turned turned down the fight with Terrence Crawford. And it's it's looking like Turkey Al Sheik and Canelo Alvarez don't like one another. And on Twitter spaces, 
Turk El Sheik was just going off on Canelo Alvarez, basically. But I can understand Canelo. Canelo don't want to overlook, underestimate, or take Edgar Belanger lightly. And for you know Turk El Sheik to try to stage a fight that early when Canelo got a fight coming up September fourteenth against Edgar Belanger. I kind of felt like he went about it the wrong way. Not saying that it was disrespectful, but I just felt like Turk, you know, Turkey Alashik could have came at him, you know, after the fight, you know, say like Sunday or that Monday and had a sit down with Canelo. Because I know Canelo, if the money is right, it's, it's going to be a fight. And Canelo, I, he's not afraid. He's, he's a millionaire with everybody in the game. Billy Joe Saunders. Sugar Shane Mosley, um, Danny Jacobs, Laura, Trout, Miguel Cotto, Floyd, uh, Triple G, Dimitri Bevel, Jamel Charlo. He done been in there with everybody, so he's not turning down no fate. Um, I just think Turkey out of sheep. Yeah, he he changed the game. He made fights happen that you know wasn't gonna happen because of the promoters. Didn't want to you know risk it, putting them you know putting their fighters at risk and put up all that money. And Turk, you know, Turk made it happen. But with this Canelo and Terence Crawford fight, I don't think that fight is gonna happen. Would Terence Crawford make the fight with Virgil Ortiz? I mean, it's possible. Anything is possible, but it just don't seem like Terence Crawford is gonna take that fight with with um Virgil Ortiz, and I don't think Canelo Alvarez is gonna fight Terence Crawford. But then again, he might double back on that. But from the way that Terence Crawford looked at 154, and he talking about going up to 168, to me, I felt like against Israel Mazumov. You know, y'all can com- correct me if I'm wrong. He looked at a little sluggish. He looked at a little heavy. Fighting at 154. He had on bigger gloves. 10 ounce gloves. Uh, the punches didn't really have no pop to it. Um, he wasn't as quick. He wasn't as finesse. I don't know if Israel Majumov herky jerkiness threw him off. Um, he was this awkward. Um, he did catch Terrence Crawford with some good, great shots. And you can see that Terrence Crawford tried to, you know, pour it on at the end, the, the 10th and 11th and the 12th round. But Israel was game. Um, he came up with a great game plan. Him and Joel Diaz, they came up with a great game plan. And, um, Terrence Crawford just looked at befuddled. I just don't think that if he get in the ring with Canelo fighting that way, it won't last long. And Canelo will be gladly to take that fight after seeing that fight with Israel Majumov. Um Crawford is not punching like that at 154, and he won't be punching like that at 168. And Canelo is... He done been hit by some tough hitters, you know. I just, I just, I wouldn't like that fight for for Terrence Crawford, in my honest opinion. Would it be a great fight? Yeah, until it lasts, you know, until it lasts, until, you know, once Canelo cut down that ring and make that ring small like a dot, not a circle, like a dot, and make Terrence Crawford fight. It will be a long night. Good morning. Hello. That's just my honest opinion. If y'all feel and beg the difference, y'all let me know. You know, everybody have an opinion. This is just my opinion. If so, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. All right. One love, one life. I'm out. Peace.